So I just picked these out of the garden. They're wilty. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! They were out of the water too long. If I put them in a glass water, they will grow a little bit more, but why not put them in ice water? This is a stock pot. I fill the water out. It's cold water. When I come back from helping my mom, these were all ready. I'll be able to eat them tonight. I'll show them to you then. All right, so when I first got the leaves, they were, I mean, they were completely limp. All right, the stems were completely dead. So what we're doing now is we're pulling them out of the cold water and you can see the leaves have real structure again. I mean, they are fully inflated. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to dry them and I'm gonna put them away and I'm gonna eat them tonight. Okay, maybe that one. Okay, so there's gonna be some that didn't make it because they were completely um, lack of fluids. They were limp. So this way, okay, so some, some just didn't make it, but some did. And these will be really, they'll taste really good in my salad tonight. Okay, all right. Okay, so this is one little trick you can do. You go to the market, you buy these things. Sometimes they're separated. They come, come in a bunch. And then you make, you're able to, to reuse them again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to snip off the stems I can use those in my soup and all the really good leaves I'm going to add those in my salad so I don't keep the stems together with salad I usually end up eating the leaves of that very night so you just can't beat a delicious leaf like this right here okay so there are times too when I strip the leaves for the salad then I even take the stem off so I cut these stems like this and then I bag them and I put them in my freezer now some people, they like to eat these stems, and that's great. And we're not throwing away a plant. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. We're just gonna cut these stems off. We're gonna save, save our leaves for our salad tonight. What I've been doing lately, instead of cooking these, is I've been eating them raw. And the reason why you get a lot more nutrients if the uh, leaf is, is fresher. And that it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Then. So this way it's got full of water, the stems are nice and taut compared to when I brought them home and they were kind of limp. And then I'll be able to use them in my soups and when I make my broths. This one got away from me. And everything will be fine. This is just something for you to remember that when you buy something and it goes limp, it's not totally wasted. Okay, now this one is not a good leaf, so I just take off the good part of the leaf and I throw away the rest. Now if I had a compost heap, I would do that. Like over here, there's not much of that leaf, that's really good. The rest, but then the stem is gonna be perfectly fine. All right, so sometimes you, you, can, you can make a difference and sometimes no matter what you do, you just can't save it. You just have to do the best you can. Okay, so there's a piece right over here. You can see I'm just going to twist it with my hands. And when I do strip these leaves, what I do is I grab them from the scissors, and sometimes I use my hands. And I'm just showing you a, a one way of doing it. And I don't eat the stems. Like I said, I use them in my soups. And I usually cut it up bite size. What we're going to do this time, we're going to take these stems, not the stems, the, and we're going to dry them off so I can put them in the fridge. So tonight, when I'm ready, they'll all be ready and I'll be washed. Okay, now look at that, that's a beautiful one right there. Pull those good red veins, cut that part. And you can even use your hands, see, you can do this. And that way, everything is fine. Nothing is wasted. Now you don't have to cut them apart like this. What you could do is just basically, if you wanted to, you could just keep it like whole, like this one leaf here. And I'll just have to take it apart later when I make my salad tonight. Okay, 
So now I'm going to show you what I do with that next. Now it takes me about one to two weeks to use up all the broth that I've made. So there are times I use a Ziploc freezer bag and I try not to keep it in there any longer than two weeks. But if it does happen, then what I do is when it comes out of the freezer, I just simply rewash them. This has been all washed, so I'll remember that. Sometimes what I do is I put a W over here, so it says it's been washed. But I still wash the bag because sometimes it gets kind of like some frosting on it. And that frosting isn't any good to eat. And it can damage your vegetables. Okay, so that's it for that. You can see that's all going to be soup. It's going to be broth basically. And here what I do, I take another towel and I'm simply going to, oh my scissors fell apart. I'm going to do this. And what I'm trying to do is I don't want to put it away wet. And this way. And then I try to kind of damp, basically take some of the water off the leaves. And it gives me a chance to look at them again. Like this one is not really very good. So the bottom. Now, if I had probably taken these off a little bit earlier than today, because they've been soaking for over 12 hours, I might have been able to save more of the leaves, but we don't know. I mean, I was out doing chores, and that's not what I was thinking about. So these are my garden leaves straight from my garden. And these are beet leaves. Beet leaves don't have a really long time. Once you pull them out of the ground, you've got to eat them or fry them or something. And I always got some leaf damage, but I think it's got most of it's good right here. And then if I, I could bring this back to my compost pile, but you know, it's a little harder when you're in the city and my compost pile is like a couple miles from here. Oops, yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna show you. Take these leaves. And I use a, these large plastic bags. This is not a freezer bag. And then what I'm gonna do is tonight, I'm gonna simply just put it all together with my other salads fixings. I usually use a butter ball or red leaf lettuce. And then I'll mix it up with oil and vinegar and it'll be all ready for me. Well, thanks for watching this tip and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.